Hey, bud. Hey. All right, you ready to get set up with our emails? Yeah. All right, let's go. All right, to get those set up, we're going to need to go over to SiteGround, which you've done. And now we're going to log in. We need to go to the uh, C panel. So click on My Accounts in SiteGround. All right, click on the uh, red Go to C panel button. All right, uh, scroll down a little bit till you get to the section and Email Accounts. Click on that. All right, we're ready to set up some uh, emails for both you and me. So let's go ahead and start with yours. So once you got uh, Will, all right, now you need to go ahead and input your password. If you've got a really good secure password that you like to use, you can go ahead and create your email account. Okay, let's create one for me. So put in Russ and come down to the password generator and click on the password generator. All right, we've generated a password and let's go ahead and put that in there. Let's create an account. Okay, we've now created our account. So now we're going to go back to our uh, WordPress site and we're going to go ahead and uh, input our uh, email addresses um, in our user accounts over there. Okay? All right. Okay, we've got our uh, email set up. So now let's go ahead and get them uh, installed on our user accounts and our website. So go ahead and go to users and all users. And let's go ahead and do an edit on mine. And you can scroll on down. And where I have the integrity resources uh, Gmail email, let's change that out to the one we just set up. Okay, go down and save it. Now there's some more stuff that on our profiles that we're going to set up and we'll do that in uh, the next uh, video. But let's go ahead and just get these emails installed now and get you set up. So let's go ahead and go to uh, users again and add new. Okay, go ahead and type in your username and go ahead and set up a password. Okay, and go ahead and check the box to send the password uh, to you by email and that way you'll have this information in your stored in your file. And change your role from subscriber to administrator and go ahead and add new user. Okay, we've got you set up as a user in our system and uh, okay, we're ready to move forward.